Stutter sound effects are very useful for creating futuristic sci-fi sound effects, but they are also very often used as transitional sound effects by video editors, and they are very useful in general as a layer for other sound effects to increase intensity. So there are various applications for them, and they are rather simple to create. In Vital, I'm going to start with the sample section and we are going to incorporate the oscillators later on. So deactivate oscillator 1 and activate the sample section down here. And the stutter effect is pretty much just volume automation. So I'm just going to use LFO1 in this case and put it on the level of the sampler. And now with the shape of LFO1, we can control the aggressiveness of the stutter. So two shapes that I find very useful are sine wave and the square. So with the sine wave and with the square wave. So usually I prefer the square wave, it's a bit more aggressive and the stutter effect is more obvious. If you want a softer run, I would go for the sine wave. So to control the speed of this, we're going to change this to seconds. And in this case, I want to control the speed with a macro knob. So pull macro knob one on the frequency of this. And to set this properly, I'm going to leave it at the lowest setting and just choose what I want to be the lowest speed. maybe around this, and then I'm gonna go to the highest setting and just see what kind of frequency I like. So this seems fine. What I wanna incorporate as well is uh, pitch modulation. So I want the pitch to increase when the frequency of LFO1 increases. So I'm doing this with the same macro knob and let's just pull this on the pitch of our sampler here. And now since this is white noise, it's kind of boring. You wanna choose a different noise sample here. And what I like for this kind of stuff is the HVAC unit. It seems to work rather well. And now with this, you can hear the pitch modulation quite well. I would just reduce the amount of this and maybe dial it back to roughly one octave here. You can also enable this to actually change the pitch of the sample when you play a different note. We can already do some basic post-processing on this. So just activate the compressor and we can also increase the attack even further. If you want to use reverb, you have to be a bit cautious with it because obviously the reverb is going to wash out this stutter effect. The next step that you can do is you can incorporate panning. We can do this with LFO2 and just set this to the pan knob here. And I would use the same settings on LFO2 as on LFO1 regarding speed and the macro knob. I would just change this to seconds. The low setting here is 0243, so we're going to dial this in here as well. And the highest setting, if we set the macron up to 100%, is 0.1. So we're going to do this here as well. The next thing that you can do is you can incorporate the oscillators here. What I usually like to do is use a sine wave just to give it some more low end. Because I'm playing this at a really high pitch, I'm going to pitch this down 48. And I'm giving it the same volume modulation. So LFO1 is going to the level of oscillator 1. And I'm also going to give it the same pitch modulation with our macron up here. And of course you can keep sort of layering oscillators and use different sounds. We can just quickly try something different. One of these wavetables. Also pitch this one down. Then I'm gonna use make sure one and just maybe also activate one of these. You can also give it some unison. And then of course the same volume automation and also pitch automation with make sure one. And layered with our sine wave and our noise sample. But now that you have this kind of setup, it becomes really interesting once you actually start using different samples. So we can just try some out. And deactivate the others here. And maybe also activate this so the sample goes in reverse once it's finished. So this is interesting. We can also try a Brahms sample. Maybe even a Woosh sample. Or a riser. Just 
just with your basic setup here, you can actually just use Vital as a sampler, but you can also layer everything with the internal oscillators and also obviously play around with the effects in here a bit more. And this way, once you have this set up, it's very easy to create a lot of different stuttery sound effects that you can repurpose and layer with other sound effects. 